In recent events, the point of honor memorial for Hmong community members of the secret war in Laos was defaced by unknown perpetrators. A gathering organized by Denise Schnacker had brought many participants. Some were fellow Hmong community members, others veterans, and people of the Crescent City community as a whole. Paul Kritz and I went out to interview some of these people who had shown up. The first person we came across was Denise Schnacker herself. How do you feel about the situation? So, I, I am upset, I'm hurt, I'm worried about my neighbors. Um, the Hmong community have been amazing assets, and the vandalism, the destruction of something that the whole community chipped in on, the whole community helped build and support, uh, got destroyed. And yet no other uh, names or images were destroyed here. And that's very telling, right? It was targeted and yeah. that's not okay. The idea that um, this community has had to fight to get to be here and then still have to fight to fit in and to feel like they belong and I just, I can't believe that we're still here, that we're still having to stand up and do something when hatred and, and bigotry keep rearing its little head. A group of veterans were also at the gathering to show their outrage and respects. Well, I'm pissed off. Um, these people, in Vietnam, these were our allies. They were working hand in glove with our forces in Vietnam. And they came here and now they're our neighbors. They're members of our community. This shit shouldn't, <clears throat> shouldn't happen here. It just, it's unacceptable and it can't happen. It needs to stop. And I'm here to make sure that people know that, uh, that the wrong community is part of our community. And it'll always be that way. We'd stuck around the event where guest speaker and former chief of police, Doug Platt, gave a speech about the occurrence and defamation of the memorial. After this speech, gatherers had taken a 15-minute moment of silence to reflect. Here's what he had to say after the reflection. In those 15 minutes of silence, while everyone was waiting, what were you thinking about? What was going through your head? I was thinking how we can correct some of this uh, devastation that's within the community itself. Uh, I think it's very important to bring it back to where it was before and improve upon and learn from this and hopefully we'll change a few hearts in the process. The final person we had interviewed was Pa Zhang, a Hmong community member who gave an incredibly heartfelt and emotional speech about our feelings on the subject and an equally heartfelt interview afterwards. If you could tell the community one thing just about what happened here today, what would it be? Gosh, you know, I just, I just wanted to say you know, you were there. We just, we like, just wanted to be home. Right. You know? yeah, we just wanted yeah, people want to, to treat other people like people. Yeah. Um, and Thank you. it's, gosh, I don't, I'm, I'm like just speechless. I don't even know where to, where to start, you know, just to hear that this happened to, to our community and to talk to our elders. And, you know, so many of them are just so sad by what is happening. And, and, you know, we love Crescent City, and we just, we just wanted to make Crescent City home, and we just wanted to be home, you know, and that's, that's all we want. Overall, the event was only an hour, with 15 minutes of it being a moment of silence for those Hmong veterans and their sacrifice. The event was a great commemoration of those lost. It brought the community at large to show support for the defaced monument and the Hmong community. From Redwood Voice, I'm Bryce Evans.